Hey everyone, today I thought I'd give you my first impressions of a game that I just started playing. I've never played V Rising before, but V Rising just released 1.0 and I started playing it. This game, it just sucks you in. It's a, I don't know how to say it. It's such a good mix of a survival slash open world slash ARPG for those players like myself that enjoy, like I love playing ARPGs, but I also like playing survival games. I like crafting houses and building things and farming materials. But when you play a complete 100% survival game, if you grind it long enough, you kind of miss the ARPG aspect of a game. And this, I just find this marries the two so well. I, I have to say, um, Stunlock Studios gave me a key and I tried the game out and I was pleasantly surprised how addicting it is. Now, this game I would suggest is meant for group play. I'm playing it in solo mode which has made it more difficult. And I'm playing normal difficulty. 1.0 comes with a brutal difficulty, which poof, I can only imagine how that's gonna go. Um, but I just wanted to give you my first impressions. I have just about 15, 16 hours into the game. I'm just cusping at around level 40, so I'm nowhere near complete. But I have to say, my initial take on this game is little by little, it just sucks you in. It has a lot, a lot of great quality of life features. The irony is there, they are missing some, what I would classify as basic quality of life features. Like the fact that your inventory there's chests, you store them, and when you go to craft, you actually have to go back into the chests and grab the materials you need. Like, that's just a small example of, personally, in 2024, that shouldn't exist. When you're crafting, it should know what's in your inventory or storage, and you should craft. You shouldn't have to waste time going back to the chest and grabbing the materials, in my opinion. Those are the little things. I have to say, the one thing that really just I love is, like I said earlier, the survival aspect of a game is, you know, grinding stuff, farming materials, and then using that to build the base or whatever. And in V Rising, it delivers this in spades. As you can see here behind me, this is probably my first five or six hours, and I'm clearing the area to make my very first base. Now, as you progress through the game, you are uh, able to build a castle, a bigger base, expand the base, and it comes with a ton of stuff. The building in V Rising, it just fills that void of wanting to build your base um, and it, it's so sweet. Now, again, this is my beginner base. And as you progress through the game, like I said earlier, you are able to build this beautiful mansion, which I'm really looking forward to. The other beauty of this game is the progression of the bosses. I believe there's over, if there's 50 or over 50 bosses, so there's a lot of bosses. They are all uh, level oriented and you you track them down and every time you beat a specific boss it rewards you with certain things it gives you more skills it'll provide you more resources to craft building materials um, like crafting benches presses um, you name it a furnace so the game slowly takes you through and elevates everything as you're going through all of these bosses. It really is a very fluid and nice playthrough. I have to say, um, it also fills the void of the ARPG side. The boss fights are pretty nice. 
I have to say, sometimes you'll find out real early, like I did, when you die over and over, it's basically a gear check. And it's the game's telling you, like, either get good or you got to, you know, uh, elevate, get uh, higher gear um, and come back when you're suited to fight me kind of thing. So it, it's very good. The other thing is your... Um, your character level is predicated on the level of gear that you're wearing. So the sum of those parts equates to your uh, character level. Another unique thing that I find very, very interesting and rewarding, and the game keeps you engaged. I have to say, my first 15, 16 hours of the game, I have thoroughly enjoyed. Uh, so... If you're debating whether or not to play it, I have to say for the price tag, it's around $30 on Steam. Um, I think it is worth every penny. Now, before we go, I just wanna show you kind of the options you have when you're starting a game. Like I said, I believe this game is, will be easier and meant to be played in a group. However, you can play it solo like myself. But basically here you can see the screen, the load-in screen, and you will either play online and you can have a private game and host your own world where you can invite your friends, which is what I did. And there are three game types or modes. There's relaxed and those are for people that want more relaxed combat then there's normal which as the description says an experience focused on exploration building and challenging combat and then there's brutal which i have not played since i'm not a seasoned veteran i'm very new this is my first playthrough of v rising however i've heard this description is very accurate it is brutal and again, as the description says, face devastating challenges in a world with evolved adversaries, and it's recommended for seasoned veterans. So if you've played V Rising, then maybe this is something that you would like to entertain. But I selected normal mode, but again, you're allowed to name your private game. You set up a password, which you can share with your friends and they'll get access to your private game. And, but the other beauty of it, it has settings to the world, which you can customize and you go and you can customize, and I'm not gonna go over the world settings, items, whether they drop, don't drop, how long a day is, how long the night is. We're vampires, remember? So we, when we're exposed to sun, that's not good. Um, so you can you can control that in your environment, in your private world. It also has stack loot multipliers, durability, traders. You can customize whether there's PVP or not and decaying. Like it just crafting and building, refinement rate, crafting rate, and progression. You can you can dictate on your server what starting equipment you have, what starting resources, and what starting level. Again, all customizable that you can create for you as a solo player, or if you have friends, you can invite them to your server and you guys can explore and conquer your private world, which you've customized to your likings. And you guys can go out, venture out and conquer the world. Again, beauty, this does not cost you anything. Now you can get hosted dedicated servers, which are at a cost, but you can do it for free after you've purchased the game and host your own private game. Again, for solo or with friends purposes. Anyway, just wanted to share with you the options on the game modes you have with V Rising. I highly recommend V Rising. 
I think it's a really good game. And for the price tag, like I said, it is worth it. You're going to get your money's worth on this game. If you like survival games and ARPGs blended together, open world, and it's a big world. Uh, this is a great game. It, it, it will address both of those uh, niches. So I highly recommend this game if that's the kind of games that you like. Anyway, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Help grow my channel. And as always, we'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.